When Mark Cuban says, I don't even want to hear what these people have to say. I'll give you the $180,000, but I want 25%. Oh, that's what I was going to offer. <laughs> what does it actually mean to give up 25% of your business? Well, I work with a lot of companies going through investor funding rounds, so I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an inside scoop. Does that mean if the business owner sells $1 million of her product that Mark Cuban will get paid a quarter million dollars? Well, that wouldn't really make a lot of sense because she still owns 75% of the business and she's not taking home $750,000 because she's still got to pay her employees. She's got to pay for the products to be shipped out and to make them. So how does it actually work? Well, when an investor buys a percentage of your business, to my knowledge, they're hoping to make their money back in two main ways. Firstly, if you've ever heard a shark say, if you get paid, I get paid. All that means is, since you guys are business partners, if you get paid something, then Mark should also get paid something. Let's say you're running a shirt business and you make a million dollars in shirt sales. Well, maybe half of that has to go to actually making the shirts and packaging the shirts and shipping the shirts. So you only actually have $500,000 left over, but you also have five employees that you have to pay $50,000 each to, and then maybe you have another $50,000 in general business expenses like renting your office space. So you really only have $200,000 left over. Now, you and Mark could decide to pay yourself. Let's say you decided to take $100,000 out of the business. Well, you would get paid $75,000, and since he owns 25% of the business, he would get $25,000. But if you guys decide to not pay yourself and just reinvest all of the money into growing the business, then you might not get paid anything and he won't get paid anything. Now, regardless of whether you decide to get paid or Mark gets paid, you're both really just working towards the most important way that sharks get their money back. Liquidity events or a bigger business coming to buy your business. Let's say Mark buys 25% of your business for a quarter of a million dollars. He's basically saying that the total business is worth a million dollars. So the next year, if a bigger business comes in and says, hey, you guys have grown a lot, we'd like to buy your entire business for $2 million, then Mark's investment just went from $250,000 to being worth $500,000. Now. You might be wondering, well, what happens if the business never sells to anyone, right? Like some businesses just run forever. How does Mark ever get his money back? What's his 25% worth? And if you own 75% of your business, is that worth anything? Well, a business doesn't have to be sold for Mark's 25% ownership to be worth something. He could sell some or all of it to someone else because the ownership in your company legitimately has value. That's also why there's value in owning stocks like Google and Amazon. They don't have to be bought by another company in order for you to know that they're worth something. They have tangible value because they're a reflection of what those companies are worth. And someone else is going to be willing to buy those stocks from you at a mutually agreed upon price. I guess send this to a business nerd or just someone who might want to sound smart during the next episode of Shark Tank.